Hey guys, it's LSD789 with another build video. I want to show you my updated summoner minion tank build for Apocalypse difficulty. So yeah, let's go right into it. Using the Whispering Marble Amulet, which grants you 3 stacks of Bulwark, increasing all damage by 2% per stack of Bulwark. So yeah, this amulet will give you defense and damage. And then together with the Whispering Marble, I put on the Tried Clay Ring which grants you another stack of Bulwark and increases all damage by 50% of the total damage reduction granted by Bulwark stacks. So yeah, together with these two you have four stacks of Bulwark and you gain damage with it. So if we look on the top left you have four stacks of Bulwark which grants you 22 damage reduction. So yeah, these two are really defensive and offensive, it's, re it's really good. Then also I'm using the Burden of the Destroyer Ring which decreasing range of all firearms by 35% but also increasing all damage dealt by 15%. So yeah, your range will be 35% uh, lower, but all damage you deal will be increased by 15. And that includes your summons and minions. So they will do more damage. Then also I'm using the Soul Shard Ring. This is a Awakened King DLC ring. Um, it's increasing all damage dealt by 5% for each active summon, maximum 15%. And with this build we're gonna have, uh, I think, 5 summons. But yeah, it caps out at 15%. And also, I'm using the Soul Link Ring. This ring is actually from the first game, but they uh, put it back in this game. Uh, summons life heal 5% of the base damage dealt, which returns to the wearer as health. So every time your summons will do damage, uh, they will life steal of it and give it back to the wearer. That's you. So this one's really good. Also, I'm using the Chicago Typewriter with the Night Guard uh, weapon mod. This is a weapon mod from the Awakened King DLC. Uh, summons a Night Guard to aid you in combat. The guard hurls penetrating slashes at a random enemy, dealing 82 damage. The guard will melee hit enemies if close enough, also with the same damage, and those last for 20 seconds. So yeah, this one's really good, the Night Guard. Also using the Fallet Wounds, will, uh, which applies corrosive to the enemy. And when an enemy is corroded, he will, uh, his armor class will be lower and your minions will do more damage. Everything does more damage to corroded enemies, including your minions. So yeah, that's really good. I'm using the World's Edge uh, melee weapon with tainted blades. You can use any melee weapon, but uh, I like this one a lot. I'm also using the MP60 handgun with the familiar mod. Uh, summons a very familiar to aid you in combat. The familiar selects a random enemy within 10 meters and slashes through the through them with 138 damage each attack. The familiar selects a new target when the previous one dies and lasts for 15 seconds. This familiar you get from uh, catching the dream of the Huntress in Losum. If you don't have this one, you can also use the, the tentacles, which counts as a summon. Or you can use the space crabs, which count also as a summon. But I think the familiar is better. Then on it, I'm also using the new mutator called Searing Wounds, which applies burn to the enemies. And if you hit an enemy that's burning, you also do extra damage to it. So this one's really good. Then as the armor set, I'm using uh, the True Crimson Crown. This one you get by giving the two pieces to Nimue. She will craft a new one. I'll link a video in the description how to get this. Then I'm using the Disciple uh, outfit. Mainly just because it looks nice. So yeah. Then let's go to the archetypes. I'm using the handler as a prime. Mainly because if you go down it will uh, pick you up. Or if a mate of your goes down you can uh, tell your doggy to uh, pick your mate up. Then you can actually use any of these skills. Maybe the attack dog. But I like the support dog the best. Because um, it will heal you and nearby allies. I'm also using the flyers, so if they go low health, I just use my scale and it will heal my flyers. That's really good. Uh, the, the damage perk gives you range damage, melee damage and skill damage. And because my doggy is a skill and my flyers are a skill, this skill damage is really useful, so my skills do more damage. Uh, the rest of the perks are not really important. You get the kinship uh, trait, which uh, reduces friendly fire damage by 80%. Then as secondary, I use, I use the summoner with the flyers. You can also use the reaver, but the flyers I, I like better. Uh, the damage perk uh, grants you mod and skill damage and explosive damage. 
And again, that skill damage is really useful for our doggy and the flyers. Team perk is not really important. Utility perk also not. And the relic perk. The regrowth trait is really important because you get passive regen, which is really nice. Oh yeah, I didn't go over my uh, relic. But for this, I'm using the Tranquil Heart, which pass passively grants you two health regen per second. And the unused doubles all health regen by 15 seconds. And um, I'm using a skill damage mod on it. So my doggy and my flyers do more damage. I'm also using a health mod and a damage reduction mod. So that's for the relic. And yeah, let's check the traits. I have the Fortify Maximum for the armor effectiveness. You get this from the Engineer. Then I have Kinship Maximum from the Handler, which gives you a friendly fire damage reduction. Uh, this is the Summoner trait, the Regrowth, which gives you passive health regen. This one's really good. I have Triage Maximum for the healing uh, modification from the Medic. Vagarat Maximum for the maximum health. Then I have Spirit Maximum for the Mod Power Regen by 20%. This one's really important, so your uh, Night Guard and your Familiar comes back quicker. Uh, expertise is 3. And I'm using the Bark Skin trait, which gives you 10% damage reduction. I'm also using the Blood Bomb trait. Summoner minions absorb 10% of the damage taken by the caster. So yeah, if you take damage, 10% of the damage will be absorbed by your minions. So yeah, this one's really good. I was using the new leech trait. This one you get in the root and it will boost your lifesteal by 50%. And I'm using the siphoner trait which gives you base uh, lifesteal. So yeah, each time your minions will do damage, you get 3% lifesteal back. And this one will just boost it. And together with the Soul Link Ring, you get another 5%. So that's already 8% lifesteal, which is boosted. It's really good. And I have uh, 6 points in Rugged, so your minions have 60% more health. Yeah, this one's really nice. Um, I'm also using the Meat Shake Potion. You can also use the, the Mud Tooth Tonic uh, Concussion. But yeah, you can... I like the extra defense show you a little bit of uh, gameplay, how it works. But I'll uh, put in some gameplay after this. So yeah, we have the Night Guard, which will melee attack or do a slash attack. We have the little familiar that attacks a random enemy. And we have our summoners that are, that are shooting and we have our doggy. And we can even heal them with the doggy. Yeah, that's pretty good. I'll put in some gameplay, fighting some uh, world bosses. Hope you guys like the build. If you have any questions, write them in the comments. And yeah, LSD 789.
should be whole. I should be me. Why is Obey it not me, enough? cruel goddess! Slayer of Pan! Destroyer of Dream! Oh, dirty beast! You will not hurt me! You will not use me! Not anymore! Not again! Not ever! You... You betrayed me! You are wicked! Wicked, like all the rest! You won't hurt Lydusa! No one will! There is nothing left for you!